Wow, this is so nice. Wow, it's like so beautiful. Today on Logan Lee Adventures. Good morning, Saigon. We are here in District 1 beside the Saigon River on a really rainy Saturday. As you can see from this view. At Gao Ba. So this restaurant has been featured on Somebody Feed Phil, on Davis Chang, Ugly Delicious as well. I'm here with Yurun, my partner in crime. And as you can see, it's a very quiet, early Saturday. We woke up and decided what do we want to eat. Of course, our main question when we first wake up or before we go to sleep. And this is the place. And so, nobody else is here because we got here extra early before everybody else. And just ordered a bunch of things and cannot wait to try them out. I love how they brought it out. And this is the ice. Just one huge cube of ice. In this vlog, it's all about, you guess it, food. The food of Saigon and sharing, savoring and devouring it with my friends who are visiting at the same time as well as friends who are already living in Vietnam. We have this spicy chili fish sauce here. And I'm just gonna dab a little bit onto the oysters. Vietnam, we're a dipping country, so we love our sauces and everything, even in fresh oysters. Oh, look at this perfect yolky, just basically cracked quail egg. You know, quail eggs are really tiny, so you can see it's just stuffed on open there. I'm gonna give this oyster a little, just a little push out. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so that's how you do an oyster. Oh, wow. Oh, my God. Well, at first, I got all the quail egg, but then I didn't swallow it. Because I wanted to get the oyster. And the oyster is so fresh, you can taste the ocean, but mixed with the quail egg, it's unbelievable. Oh, so it's well marinated into the corn. Then we have bread as well. Let's dip into this nice Cajun sauce. myself back from actually just chugging this whole plate right now because aside from the aroma that is seducing me the sauce itself is a nice mixture of sweet that chili cajun but with a vietnamese twist you can see potatoes in here sausages and the shrimp just marinated in all of this wonderful that's your room slurping in the background. As you should. In the late 70s, boatloads of Vietnamese refugees arrived in America and many of them settled in Louisiana crawfish joints with hot and humid weather matching Vietnam's hot coastal weather, hawking fish, and saltwater seafood for living. Then, decades later, the Vietnamese community in the southern states expanded, setting up crawfish joints all over the country, created Viet Cajun, a new cuisine. Vietnamese chef Nikki Trandang created Vajran, a medley of Viet Cajun favorites originating from the Vietnamese community in the States. But now, 
having local Saigon produce and ingredients right here in the city. I'm at Bao Zi, which is a restaurant in D1, and I'm with my friend Jake, who's visiting from DC all the way. Jake, stand on the chair. Bowsy's story started in England when Chris Wynn, an English-born Vietnamese, began selling Taiwanese snack buns from a small food court in Camden Market. This is duck and chain? Yeah. What? Wow. Ooh, that looks so good. Ooh. Wow, 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 wow. So Jake, what do we have here on our magnificent table? It's so good. Um, some type of egg. Scotch. Scotch egg. Scotch egg. Never had scotch egg before. Uh, we got some poutine. The most interesting poutine I've ever seen. I don't see any gravy. Huh. I think the mayo is the gravy. And we also have this pork belly bao. And then what did you get here? I got uh, chicken and waffles, the staple of every American meal. Uh, no meal is complete without fried chicken. And when in Vietnam. Yeah, <laughs> when in any Dig into this bow now. Look at this pork belly stuffed in there, topped off with all this crispiness. I approve. I never had scotch. I wonder what this shell is. It looks like it's made of meat. Where? Like the shell around the egg. It looks like it's made of like, uh, like onions. Bowsy, this restaurant that we just had food in, is also a really, really cool, sweet cocktail bar. So they have this hot wing challenge where you eat six wings. We're really spicy. I'm afraid. And yeah, Jake is afraid. I'm concerned because there's only two people who ever tried the challenge. No, I think the two people only only two people have succeeded in the challenge. Two people only succeeded. Yeah, I guess those are people who succeeded. Well, that's terrible. They had a location, I just had to come back. This time I'm going back with Lena, she's coming on her way. And I'm at Bowsy in the other District 1 location. And it's a different before too. I'm really enjoying the vibe of this Bowsy as well. I love how this Kate Moss quoting a bow right there. <laughs> oh, it looks like Kate Moss. I think it's supposed to be Kate Moss. The London influence is apparent as soon as you enter Bowsy's cozy dining room. The music is straight out of Brixton and the menu with scotch eggs and Britain's latest favorite chicken and waffles are a signature here. Look at the legs of the crab right there. Oh my god. Crispiness of the waffle. And how the waffle the waffle isn't like sweet sweet, it's just savory. And then it adds to the saltiness of the steak and the pepperiness of the asparagus. That's a great combination. It's time for me to feed Lena. Okay, here comes the soft shell Oh my god, the juice is 
just start like checking me out. I can feel how hot it is on my finger. <laughs> this just arrived. A foul ice cream. You see that match up with all that chocolate goodness. Oh my god, it's so fragile. I don't really want to lift it up and touch it. So we like devour it. But the bow is deep fried on top, as you can see. It's like it's not the typical white color of the bow. It's a golden color sprinkled on with some white powder. Oh. Lena struggling to cut into. There we go. Oh, there we go. <laughs> oh. Do we approve of this place? This is my friend Jazz, all the way from Canada. She's visiting me, and I'm gonna take her on a fabulous food tour of Saigon. We used to live in Tanzania together, actually, but we're Canadian, so. so we met, and now we're here in Vietnam. Let's go. Look at this cute card for their drinks right here. Actually this whole restaurant is really cute. And then they have like old style windows with beautiful artwork everywhere. Just left her. Yeah. Oh, cool! Fish sauce. Oh, yeah, I think soy 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 sauce. This place captures the heart and soul of a street food eatery serving beloved comfort food of old Vietnam, just like Mama's home cooked dishes. It's so fun introducing Yeroon and my friends to these classic traditional dishes that I grew up with, but now being in the heart of the city. Premium Chicken stands for best of the best quality and that's why this joint has become one of my favorite places for a slice of Korea in Saigon. They're so chewy and flavorful as well. The meat in it. Some people hang out with their friends at the movies, some do it at the bar or at a club. I do it over food at restaurants. Dude just keeps on coming. <laughs> we thought we ordered enough, but <laughs> now we have three different types of Korean barbecue chicken. It looks so good. Well, adventurers, I hope I got your mouth a little bit watery with these delicious food spots of Saigon. Give this video a like, subscribe if you haven't already, and leave me a comment to let me know which dish you want to try out the most. See you in the next video.